Welcome to Wacky Wednesdays, where everyone has a chance to show off their car mods. And here's this week's winner. Hi guys, I'm here in Corona, Queens. That's right, Corona, Queens. I'm here where the Mets play baseball. That's City Field, uh, what I was you were just looking at over there. Um, the Mets do play baseball there, and right next to City Field, for those who are not New Yorkers, is what's called Willits Point, uh, which is an area of Queens called that's nicknamed the Iron Triangle. Why? Because it's tri it's a triangular shaped plot of land where pretty much all stolen cars end up to be chopped apart in chop shops. And if you look around, it's pretty scenic. I mean, we have garbage on all sides. We have leftover car parts straight over there. And uh, it's quite post-apocalyptic. That's the honest truth. The roads here are nuts. So we're going to take a tour of the Iron Triangle. For those who don't know, this, this is the last part of New York City that doesn't have underground plumbing or sewage. So when it rains, it just simply puddles up on the ground. And you can imagine um, there are no bathrooms, period. It just doesn't exist. So we're gonna take a tour. The roads here are full of potholes and everything. It's quite wild. Check this out. Forgot to mention one key factor. In the Iron Triangle, it's really old school. There are gonna be people who come up to the car and say, what you need, what you need. And that's because they wanna work on your car and they're offering your services. They're not coming up like to sell drugs or do anything illegal. Although they are probably all illegal workers, but that's a different story. Uh, but it's totally safe here, despite how it looks. It looks freaky deaky. Um, but nah, they're actually really nice people. And after after a while coming here, I've been coming here for years, uh, you start to see the same people. And uh, they're here for years. They know you, and it's all good. But it is freaky when you've never seen it before. Check this out. triangle there's exactly one place that's zoned for residential use and it has one residence that's right the entire Willits Point has exactly one person living in it and he lives right here in this house we're about to drive past down here gigantic <laughs> so this here is his house this is the one and only res residentially zoned house in all of Willits Point. There's an old man who lives there and refuses to leave, so I've been told. He's a, something like in his 80s, and uh, he don't want to give this place up, which is understandable, I guess, if you want to live around that. I am in the Iron Triangle, and I actually can't pass the street because there's just two gigantic of a puddle in there uh, garbage in the way up here so I'm just driving straight down the sidewalk which isn't that much better oh man look at that look at that old car there graffiti on it this is place is bonkers and I love it yeah this car ain't getting through that That's, that's just that's just not happening not in this car oh man you need like Hummer or something to make it through these potholes I so apparently no one's coming up to the car because they see the camera sticking out the top of the sunroof and uh, fail I guess in that department but if I hadn't had that they'd be walking up and go what you need what you need after every single person who you saw standing in the street would be doing that Towards the far end of the Iron Triangle, which I believe is the northern point, um, there's also the garbage depot where the garbage trucks park for the night. Man, it stinks on this side. Uh, it's also uh, got areas that are marked as being contaminated land and caution and toxic waste and whatever other nastiness. There's also no real uh, road rules here. I mean, you could just kind of drive where you want. Uh, I'm told from my friends who are Indian that in India it's kind of like that everywhere, but here this is New York City and this is about the only place that's like that. <laughs> Yeah, 
the interesting thing about the Iron Triangle is it's right next to City Field where the baseball uh, Mets play baseball. And it's not just next to it. I mean, that's literally the field. That's the Iron Triangle. There, there's just like not even a barrier between them. Check it out. And uh, I'm actually trapped in the car because I can't cross that. That's just too deep, uh, the puddle. So I'm going to turn around here. But uh, this is bonkers. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with the area, it's all filled with cars that people uh, repair or strip for parts and pretty much all the stolen cars in New York end up here and everybody knows it and no one seems to be able to do anything about it. Well that was this week's video and to have your car mod shown on my channel here check this out. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos remember to ring that bell.